Hello YouTube, this is Adi here and you are watching my channel that TAV, the Android boy and today I am going to show you the Sinusoid mode latest ROM which is Sinusoid mode 12 for Google Nexus 5, Google Nexus 4 and Google Nexus 7. For the demonstration I am using the Google Nexus 5 and I will put the links to the ROM and the GS in the description below so just go there and download it and put the ROM zip file to your internal memory of your phone and to root your phone I will put the link in the description so just go to the link and you can root your phone and install the latest build of Tidal Warfare. and after doing all these things let's follow the tutorial just press press and hold your volume down and power button at the same time like this and navigate to recovery mode as you can see here install of then press on install and navigate to navigate to the folder where you put your zip file the sinusoid mode zip file for the hammerhead and the gf it is the sinusoid mode and just install it first of all don't forget to backup everything before installing this rom and first of all clear all wipe the old data of your phone before installing the rom it will take some time for probably 20 30 seconds now it's done then let's install the GFs now everything is installed then reboot your system now phone is rebooting This is the Synogen mode logo. Don't be panic, it will take some time because this is the fresh new ROM. And as you can see, it's booted up. Let's take a look at this new Synogen mode ROM. Just go to the setting menu and scroll down to the about phone section and here you can see it is the latest one the Synosium 12 and it is the latest Synosium ROM for Google Nexus 5 and it is official and the Android version is 5.0.2 let's tap here and you can see the new lollipop logo and if you tap here tap and hold you can go to the you can play the fluffy word style Android game then you have the Synosium mode update option here and you can basically get the Synosium mode future updates OT updates here and then you have the other settings like the common settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, more and in more options you have NFC and then Android Wing others and after that you have the personalization section where the first option is home you can basically change your launcher here and then you have the status bar option you can change your brightness control quick pull down it means when you uh, when you pull down from the left side of your home screen you go to the go to the notification and when you pull down from the right side of your status bar then you go to your directly to the uh, toggles and then you have the saw notification count saw weather and battery start battery status style this is the battery style if you want circle then you can do it and after that you have the battery percentage here you can enable or disable it then you have the device options some device options like you can change the display it means you can uh, you can disable the rotation or enable it you have the sleep option you can change the font size and you have the option double tap to sleep it means this is the double tap to sleep option when you double tap on the status bar the phone will go to sleep then you have the color calibration then you have sound and notification you can control your sound and notification here you can just control the vibration LED notification using this uh, setting then you have the button layout you can change the button navigation bar button layout using this using this option then you have the storage option then you have battery and here you can new extra features battery support mode you can basically save up to 15% more battery using this option then you have the apps option then users tap to pay and system profiles location security privacy account uh, language input backup and reset date and time printing performance developer option and about phone and developer option is not pre enabled in this rom you, to enable this option just go to the build number and tap here 7 times and you will basically enable the developer option in developer option there are a lot of uh, things 
you can you can um, enable the advanced reboot option i just enable it it means just click on reboot option and you can enable the soft reboot recovery and bootloader here then you have the root access you can you can uh, you can give the root access to a lot of application or ready files then you have the android debugging option in the developer mode and you can change the animation speed here in the developer mode this is the windows animation you can off it or you can decrease the scale then you have transition animation then you have the animator duration and according to me this is the as this is the synovel mode rom and it is pretty stable and you can use it as your daily driver and if you think this video is quite helpful to you then please like comment subscribe and please let me know which rom are you using currently on your google nexus 5 and in the description section below and i will catch you in my next video guys till then peace